What's up guys, Grim here. Now I want to tell you guys that yes, the giveaways are resuming starting today. What am I giving away? Well, I'm giving away five wrecks in this video. Yes, that means there will be five separate winners and each person will get a Rex each. The big kicker is if you are one of the people that used my referral code in the description below this video to create your Rift account and that is the character that you're entering in this giveaway with, then you will win five times the amount of Rex. Yes, that means that you will win five Rex instead of one if you're one of the winners. How to enter this giveaway is very simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And the next thing you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server so we know where to send the Rex to. Winners will be announced in the next Saturday video. Good luck everybody. What's up guys, Grim here. Now we're going to get right into this Pyromancer build in just one moment. But first I have to say thank you to Miratrix for submitting this build and macros. And a lot of you guys sent really good builds and really good macros and all of your masteries and told me how you play your builds and all this stuff. And it was super helpful. Trust me, you guys were absolutely amazing. But I ended up having to pick Miratrix's build and uh, macros because it was just it as soon as you see it you'll see why I chose it it's a very good build and there isn't too much to micromanage for the most part you know not can not whenever compared to a lot of the other builds that I've seen now there is a more standard version of Pyromancer than the one that Miratrix uh, ended up sending me but I'll go ahead and have that build in the description below uh, so that you can click on it and see how that is. And if you want to run that one, fine. But this build that I'm about to show you is much better in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into this. And Mirror Tricks, I hope you enjoy your Rex that I'm going to be sending you. But let's go ahead and go into this Soul Tree. Now, as you can see, I went 61 into Pyromancer, 15 into Warlock, and 0 Dominator. And this build, it's just really good. Because almost all of the other builds that people submitted me always had a little bit of clunkiness to them. And that's just how Pyromancer works for the most part. But whenever you throw in Dominator, it makes everything so much smoother. Um... All right, so let me explain it as we go along here. And if you want to be able to see this build on a website or something, I will have a link in the description below. So just go down there and click on the link and you'll be able to see the build on a web page. And don't have to pause this video or, you know, squint at the screen or any of that stuff. So 61 Pyromancer, the 15 points into Warlock is 5 into Magical Affinity. 4 into Vitality, 1 into Draining Bolt, and 5 into Opportunity. And of course, 0 points in the Dominator. But let me tell you, one of the main reasons we went Dominator is for this ability here called Neural Prod. And that gives us an instant ability to cast at the end of our macros so there's no there isn't any dead macros at all because in almost every pyromancer build you got macros that they uh, if you hit it and spam it a little bit it, it dies at a certain point to where nothing else is being cast while you're hitting that ability and you've got to go to the next macro or next ability and it, it's a lot of micromanaging with this uh having neural prod it allows you to hit that spam button as much as you want if you need to run and some of your abilities are down you can always rely on that spam button and just keep hitting people with it while you're on the run and trying to uh, micromanage your cc's and stuff so very good build here i'm very happy with it all right now the masteries uh these were my own choices now i kind of weighed which ones you guys sent me and the builds that you sent me 
but really I ended up choosing these ones because I like them the most but just keep in mind that you can swap them around however you like if you like some of the other abilities more all right our 61 ability is overflowing vitality and that allows us to heal up with a natural heal the entire time we're fighting so while you're in combat you'll you'll get quite a bit of healing done to you all right the second ability here at our level 62 is an ability that i always have trouble saying it's healing exigency i guess that's how you say it but the main reason that we pick this is it allows us to have our spells uh have a longer range a five meter addition additional range to our abilities very important for range classes all right our level 63 mastery is combat alacrity and the main reason that we have that is it increases our movement speed while not mounted so movement is very important in pvp and that's the main reason why we picked that. All right, our level 64 mastery is sparking destruction, and that makes it to where we get uh, more damage, basically, is what it is. All right, and then our level 65 ability, I ended up picking Phantom Stream because I like the another burst ability, but a lot of people aren't picking it, and they're going with the Ethereal Flux. And that allows them to put it in their spam macros and all that. So if it's something that you would like to do, go ahead and pick this up and put it in your macros if you like. But I ended up going with uh, Phantom Stream. All right, so let's go ahead and show the buffs. The only buffs that you'll have is Pyromancer's Armor and Nedra's Might. And of course, any guild or planar buffs that you want to put on. All right, let's go into the macros here. Now keep in mind that uh, there's other ways to do these macros and once you learn these builds you may want to uh, separate some of the abilities on separate buttons that way you can micromanage as you like. Uh, most people want to do that as they get more experienced with the build but this is to make it as easy as possible on you. So alright we got a main spam macro here. And I will have all the macros in the description below this video so that you can just copy and paste and make it really easy on you. All right, so our second spam macro, and this is basically going to be our Fulminate uh, cast. Fulminate is a very hard hitting ability, but you need charge in order to cast it. So whenever you see that Fulminate is about to be uh, back up, or it's already active but you need charge you can always spam this button and it'll build up charge until you have enough for fulminate and then it'll cast your fulminate uh, the first spam macro eats up charge so you don't want to hit that whenever fulminate is ready to go all right in our third macro is basically just a gtae for firestorm which makes it to where normally whenever you cast firestorm you have to click on a spot on the ground and it will cast the aoe in that area well this makes it to where you can just hit the button and it will uh whoever you have it tar have targeted it'll cast it right on that spot and aoe everybody around that person so let's go ahead and go into the buttons on our bars here we got our main spam macro, we got our charge building uh, macro which is also going to cast Fulminate. We got Flame Volley, and then we have Fusillade. We have Heat Wave, Flicker, which is going to be our, uh, it removes crowd uh, control effects and also teleports you 15 meters away. We have Internalized Charge. We have Phantom Stream, and like I said, you won't have this on your bar if you went with the Ethereal Flux, but I chose Phantom Stream, so I have to have it on my bars. Here's our AoE macro. I have Transmogrify, which is going to be able to squirrel people, but I really don't use that in this build too much because it's a cast time ability, and uh, if you go high enough in the Dominator, you can get that CC to be uh, instant cast. But we, we have zero points in the Dominator, so it's a hard cast of it with a cast time. It makes it not a very good CC after all. Alright, our uh, CC abilities that we have mainly is Scorch, which interrupts your opponent, and it also stuns them. 
Uh, burn, which debilitates for five seconds. Burning Bonds, which roots the opponent for eight seconds. And I believe that that's a root that can't be cleansed or broken, I believe. Uh, I may be wrong on that. But um, the next ability here I have is Rift Tomb. And this is a planar ability, so not all of you will have it if you haven't put any points into your planar attunement yet. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you exactly where it's at. It's in the Tree of War here, and it's right at the top of the first tree. So, Rift Tomb. That's going to be a very good CC if you guys get it. And the last ability that really needs to be on your bar is Cerebral Flare, which makes it to where you can regenerate your mana. Alright, so let's go into how to play this build. Now, there's a few different ways to play it, but... To make it as simple as possible, we've got a spam macro that's going to eat up charge. And also, it's going to put your internalized charge, which makes your abilities hit harder. All of that, and it's going to be your main spam, which is our first macro that I showed you. Well, okay, now we have a second macro, which is going to build charge, because mages deal with charge. You know, it's all about consuming charges, and it's uh, about building charge. Well, our second macro is going to build charge, but once it's got enough charge built up, it'll cast Fulminate if it's uh, not on cooldown. So, the thing is, is that internalized charge eats up charge. So, it's not in our second macro, even though we want it up in our second macro. So we'll have to cast internalized charge before we cast that second macro if that's how we want to open up on the fight. So say I'm running up on the battlefield and this is going to be my first opponent. My internalized charge, which, which is going to buff up my next six damaging abilities, isn't going to be active. But I want it to be active whenever I cast Fulminate. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit internalize charge on my separate button here. And then I'm going to spam my second macro until it builds up enough charge to cast Fulminate and hit them for a lot of damage. So, we run up, cast internalize charge, and we're going to keep moving and spam our second macro until it casts Fulminate. And it went ahead and cast it. It hit for a lot of damage. So... After that, we've got internalized charge, our fulminates down, so we don't have to hit that anymore. And now we can go into our main spam if we like. Uh, and it'll eat up charge the entire time that we're casting. As you can see, my charge is going up, and then it goes right back down because that main spam is going to be eating it up. But that main spam also keeps internalized charge up at all times. So it'll make it to where all of our damaging abilities is hitting harder. And every time Cinder, Bro uh, Cinder Burst proc comes up, which is a really hard hitting ability, it'll cast it every single time. So you can run around spamming this button. Well, that's our main spams. But now we've got a lot of cooldowns that we can use to really burst people down. Now... One of the cooldowns that we're going to use is called Flame Volley, and we can cast that while we're running, as you can see there. Alright, so once that's down, well, I went ahead and chose Phantom Stream as my level 65 ability, my mastery. So, let's go ahead and cast that as well after Flame Volley is down. So, we're going to cast that. Oh, somebody's talking to me. How are you? Sorry about that. I had somebody talk to me in the game. Uh, but we used our two big channeling abilities right there and we're, it does a lot of damage to somebody. Trust me, if you're running around and mind you, you need to keep moving whenever you cast your uh, two spam macros. You have to keep moving at all times with them. Well, after that we can cast our flame volley and we can cast our phantom stream and we're going to do a lot of damage to them as well while we're moving. All right, now let's say that we can stand still. Nobody's on us and we're able to do a big burst. Well, the next big ability is going to be Fusillade. And whenever you cast this, it's going to channel a bunch of fireballs at the opponent. 
and that's going to be huge that's going to be a huge ability so you want to use that as much as you can if you're able to stop and cast it do it because it does a lot of damage now now we got all these cooldowns we got our two main spams now let's say that you are just running around you've already done all this burst you've really hurt everybody a lot well now all your big cooldowns are down and you're basically just spamming that neural prod because that's the only ability that you have open you've already used everything else well that's whenever you want to make sure that you cast heat wave now heat wave is going to make it to where your fire abilities are going to be cast a lot of fast a lot faster so we're going to hit heat wave and then we're going to stand still and spam either one of our main abilities probably your main uh spam macro that eats up charge that way you know that it's going to keep up your internalized charge as well because internalized charge isn't automatically cast on your fulminate uh, spam macro. So we're going to cast heat wave and then our main spam. And as you can see, it put up internalized charge. I got K alert showing me that. And I've got it to where it counts down the heat wave at the bottom of my character right there. And it's down to one second, zero. Okay, now I know my my fireballs are not going to be cast really fast and I do not want to keep casting that. I, I don't want a hard cast fireball with a long cast time. That's whenever it's time to start moving again because most likely some of your cooldowns are back up and you're ready to go after that. Now you've got all that going. You basically you, you've ran around spamming your charge consuming spam button You've popped off your Fulminate and you made sure to have internalized charge up, even if you had to cast it on a separate button. Well, all of your big cooldowns are down and you, you've just been doing a great job. Now, make sure you are using your CCs and getaways at the right times. Because there are so many CCs that you have as a Pyromancer, but you've got to make sure that you're using them. If somebody gets on you, you can cast your uh, Burning Bonds, which is going to root them. And then you can flicker away, which is going to make it to where you teleport 15 meters away. So let's say somebody gets on me and I'm wanting to get away. And let's say they're a warrior and they're bursting on me right now. Well, I'm going to hit my Burning Bonds and then I'm going to flicker away. And then I'm going to start kiting them. Now, let's say they get on you again. You can debilitate them. Let's say they, uh, it's a caster and they're about to start casting on you and say they're a pyromancer and they're starting their fusillade on you. Well, go ahead and hit your scorch, which is going to interrupt them and stun them. So go ahead and hit that and then you can start bursting onto them and they're going to be the victim and not you. So lots of cool stuff, man. Uh, you can even use your uh, rift tomb as another CC. This, this spec is just absolutely crazy, the amount of damage it's going to do, the amount of CC that you're going to be throwing down on the people. You're going to absolutely love it. Just make sure that if you're, uh, say you're running around casting your spam button, every time that, uh, that cinder burst proc happens, say you go ahead and hit your uh, heat wave and you start casting the fireball, you see my center burst proc just came up make sure to move a little bit and cast that center burst because it's so much damage and then you can stop again and start doing your fireball all over again you've got to be able to cast that center burst proc it's going to automatically cast while you're moving so if you're standing still and casting the fireballs and you see center burst proc come up move a little bit and spam that uh, main spam button that way your cinder burst goes off and then you can stop again and cast the fireballs. So really easy build to play. It may sound a little bit complicated whenever I'm telling you it. But really you're, you'll get the hang of it. And you'll absolutely love it. Because you're going to be killing everybody. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new to Rift, make sure you use my referral code in the description below this video. You get uh, an extra bag. You get uh, some 
enchants to put on your weapons to make them glow you get tons of good stuff that you will not want to miss out on if you are just now joining rift and it also puts me on all of your friends list and you on all of mine and also with these giveaways that we're doing now if you end up winning you get additional prizes on top of the the normal giveaways if you use my referral code so I hope you guys enjoyed all of this, and as usual, my name is Graham, and I will see you next time.